Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2015 in Frankfurt, Germany, and I'm here with Barry Davis from Intel. How are you doing today, sir? Rich, how are you? Good, good. You know, I've read with great interest what you guys put out about OmniPath today. Why don't you, let's start at the beginning. What is OmniPath? So the Intel OmniPath architecture uh, is Intel's next generation high performance fabric, uh, designed specifically for high performance computing, as well as other data center workloads. Uh, we actually, the first time we introduced the uh, OmniPath architecture was at ISC last year, 2014 in Leipzig. Um, uh, we made a few other disclosures in, uh, at SC, and now we're, we're here to say a little bit more this time, right? Um, it, at, uh, at ISC last year, we really just talked about the name. Uh, we talked about the fact that uh, we were going to have two different solutions. We were going to have a discrete solution and something integrated with um, uh, our Knight's Landing CPU, as well as a future Xeon 14 nanometer CPU uh, on a roadmap. Uh, we talked about the fact that we're building switches, uh, that we're uh, um, uh, building silicon, we're building switches, um, and that was about it, right? So as we come into uh, this year, we, like I said, we have a lot more to say. Okay, so, so when you put it as part of Knight's Landing, what are the advantages of doing that integration? Oh, uh, the advantages of integration are um, uh, kind of too numerous to name, <laughs> but we'll, we'll talk, we'll give you a few of them, right? I mean, right. so, you know, really the, the community, our, our end users have been coming to Intel for years saying, Intel, when are you going to integrate a high performance fabric in your CPUs? Why? Well, density, number one reason. Power, another number one reason. I'm going to, they're all number ones, right? Den, uh, density, power, latency. The advantages go on. And the reality is, is that as you go across our roadmap, as we move from um, uh, 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 deeper, as we go to deeper and deeper levels of integration, all of those value propositions just get better and better and better. Right? So, so that's we're excited about that. But today, right, we're announcing, uh, not announcing, but we're talking about our, our discrete solution, okay, because Knight's nice Landing is um, uh, uh, not quite here yet from, from that perspective. Uh, we're talking about the fact that <clears throat> our product is, um, uh, we're talking about our SKUs, right, so we're talking, uh, we're, we got specific that we're bringing to market um, a, uh, a by 16 PCI Express card with one Omnipath 100 gigabit per second link, um, a by 8 PCI Express card uh, with the same uh, link, um, uh, we're talking about our 48 port uh, Radix uh, um, uh, top rack switch, our 24 uh, port switch, uh, and our director switches as well. We're, we're talking a lot about the, the, the details of the OmniPath architecture this time, right? So we're talking about our message rate. Our message rate today, 195 million messages per second per port on our 48 Radix switch. Um, that's, a, that's a, let's say that's a 73% improvement over our competition. Right, very excited about that. Also latency, latency, we actually just read a, um, an Intersect 360 report, uh, actually just this morning that said that uh, end users uh, in HPC Interconnect, one of their, their number one concern is latency. Our latency is 23% better than our competition, than our nearest competition. Now I want to emphasize, this is on A0 silicon with A0 software, right, out platform alpha software. We're just getting going. We're, we got nowhere to go but up from here, right? So we're really excited about all that. Great, you know, you've got some live hardware in the booth. That's, I we think do, that's, we that's, do, right? That's We're terrific. up and running. Yeah, but what about community? I mean, is Intel all in this all, all by themselves, or what are you no, doing there? No, um, Intel has started what we call our uh, Intel Fabric Builders program yeah. to build that community to bring complete end, uh, uh, solutions to our end users. Um, uh, since, I guess since SC last year, we've actually tripled the number of uh, people participating uh, to I think 31 it is today. Right, so, and we're going to continue to build that momentum till we launch the product uh, in Q4 of this year. Right. And there is one message I want to leave uh, with, uh, with you and with, the, with our uh, uh, listeners here, is that we are open for business. We are open for business. All right. All and, right. We, and, and will we be seeing uh, a product this year? You're oh, going to yeah, announce? We're yeah. going to be, you're we're gonna be shipping. Yeah. yeah, we're shipping. We, we've said this publicly. We are yeah. shipping by, uh, by uh, we actually said this last year. Yep. And we're, we're reiterating it this year. We are shipping by the end of this year. Um, actually, what we've said in our press release is that we actually have over 100,000 nodes in our pipeline at this point in time, like up possi possible shipments in, uh, in our pipeline at this time. We are, we are real. Uh, we're performance. We're performance. And, um, and we're excited. 